What's going on YouTube? It's Alex here today with Present Moment Photographs and today we're coming at you with an awesome video. Did some exploring up in southern Utah at Lake Powell over the weekend and got some super cool photos, some good footage um, and excited to kind of share it all with you. So the place that I went that is in this video is Alstrom Point and it's like on the north end of Lake Powell. You take about a dirt road for 45 minutes to get there and I'll talk a little bit in the video about it, but the road is not too bad. It's dirt. Uh, Two-wheel drive can get most of the way there, but you need a four-wheel drive to do about the last two miles. Um, and an option I've heard people do is they go the long way with their two-wheel drive car, and then they hike the rest. Um, you can do either. It's totally, uh, totally open space, free camping, wherever you want. Um, really nice area that not a lot of people know about or see. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and down below... I'm going to link a page with the directions I took to get there. Uh, you could use Google Maps. Google Maps will take you right there. Super great. But if you're more of an old school person or whatever, or just like having the directions just in case, um, if you lose service or your phone dies or whatever, um, these are really solid and helpful. So I'll link those down below, along with some other links too um, that are just relevant to me, my social media, all that kind of stuff if you all want to check that out. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, YouTube, what's going on? So now we're on a back dirt road behind Lake Powell, and we are on our way to Alstrom Point, and there's just these crazy buttes out here uh, with these beautiful gold and black colors. Um, so I'm going to stop and get some picture of those on the way, and uh, then uh, I'll record a little bit of the drive. The road's really not too bad. I'm about 10 miles in it so far, and... Um, Four-wheel drive hasn't been needed yet. I'm using it just to make things a little smoother and easier, but um, Yeah, all right, so here's the camera setup. We've got just the car parked over there Totally quiet. No one out here really cool um, But here's one of the buttes uh, We were looking at and there's this kind of cool rock up here The ground's got this cool texture. So I'm just gonna do a few different things here taking some pictures trying to get a couple compositions and whatnot. All right, so here are a few images I took in these buttes just on the drive to Alstrom Point, and you'll see them right once you hit the dirt road. They're hard to miss. Um, so yeah, here's the second image. I really like this one a lot, just the close-up and the colors and the textures. Um, and then here's another one. I mean, you can really see that gold popping out. And this image here is one of my favorites from the whole trip and the next one too but this first one just because I really like the colors and the tones the mood there's a little foreground a little background uh, the sky is nice I think it turned out really well and then this last one I really like too of just the cracks in the ground I edited it made it a little bluer than it really was but I think it just has a nice abstract sort of scaly look um, so yeah, I mean, there's plenty of photo opportunities in the area before you even get to this uh, main Alstrom point. Alright, so we are approaching the, I guess, first area. It's like supposed to be the first lookout area for Alstrom point, Alstrom point, whatever the cool kids say, I don't know, you know, I don't know. Um, and this is sort of, I guess, where two-wheel drive vehicle vehicles are supposed to stop. And, you know, online they say two-wheel drive vehicles can get all the way out to this spot. And, you know, I, I would agree uh, based off of what I've driven so far. Um, it's just this next hilly part up here is supposed to be pretty gnarly. Um, but the next lookout point is about... I think it's like two miles or so, mile mile to two miles uh, from this point. Um, but here, really nice view. Let me move this guy so y'all can see a uh, great view of the lake out there. The, uh, the rocks, the layers, but uh, yeah, here I'm gonna record this little bit. This is the more challenging part of the drive that they um, recommend four wheel drive for. And uh, so yeah, I'll just record this to show y'all what that's like if anyone's thinking about coming out here. Um, but I mean, even this part right here that I'm at now is really great views. Um, and, it, and you know what I mean, isn't a bad spot. Also the drive on 
Google Maps said it was about an hour, but it really didn't take that long. Um, I stopped a few times to take pictures, so it took a little longer there, but um, it could be done in less than an hour for sure. Uh, but I do have something important right here now coming up after all my blabbing is that there, this is all slick rock I'm driving on right now. Um, but there's a left road and sort of like a right road and the right road is the easier one, I believe. Um, the left road, I saw some videos of cars driving on it and it can be pretty gnarly if you don't have a absolute unit of a car. Um, so the right side's a little easier still, tough. Um, we're going up here as you can tell right now, but uh, this is supposed to be much easier than that other left side. And I don't know, we're just gonna kind of send it over the rocks. Yeah, that's easy, baby, easy money. And I think that should be the hardest part. Uh, that wasn't too bad, that'll be interesting to go down, but we're up, uh, which is nice, and on we continue. All right, so we got a little lost. Um, so there's these little, I don't know, they're called cairns or something with the, uh, the little like rocks stacked on each other. And I guess you follow those to see different viewpoints and, and there's no roads right now. I'm just driving on only rock. Um, and I mean, the GPS takes you to like a specific point and that's kind of where I'm trying to get. But I guess there's not necessarily any right place to, to go, you know? Um, you can camp anywhere up here and there's no really like right place to go i mean it's all very picturesque so i'm kind of just driving on the rocks trying to figure out what way i need to be going here because i really have no idea um but this is some mega off-roading for sure for sure wasn't expecting to off-road this much I, I understand why they say this isn't a two-wheel drive portion for sure um you know it's not a road at all it's just rocks which um i mean my uh, my just stock forerunner is handling it fine but i don't think a two-wheel drive vehicle would do the best out here um yeah so we're just gonna go find a spot all right so i think this is the the main viewpoint um i like this little area down here personally uh, so I'm gonna go check this out, and I guess there, and there was no one at the main viewpoint either. And like I said, only, only passed a couple cars on the way up. Only one car was up here, so I think we'll go check this spot out down here. I kind of am thinking with my photography mind and eyes, and I feel like there's some some rocks and foreground we could use up here to get some scale of like how big this place is and there's not really any wrong place there's, there's so many little edges like this that are not occupied and i'm sure there's been tons of you know photos from i, I don't know where the if there's like a main spot but there's a lot of different spots you can set up which is cool uh so i'm just gonna park the car up here and we're just gonna hang out for a bit all right youtube uh, so here is our view at Alstrom Point for the sunset. I mean, it's spectacular. Have a rain cloud over there, which is really cool. I tried to get some panels with that. And then the blue and the red is really nice out there. I got a little color in the sky a minute ago. But uh, yeah, this is the, uh, the view. I mean, really breathtaking. And, you know, I'll be up to get some more shots in the morning, but super, super cool. Um, so yeah, this is Ostrom Point. There are some people over there, really far away though, camping. And then it's just me, so if you're looking for a nice, sick, amazing, quiet getaway, um, this is a good spot. And it's not too far out of Page, Arizona, like I was saying a bit earlier. Um, I would say the drive is closer to like 40 minutes, not an hour, which is what the GPS says, but... Uh, yeah, I'll might get some try and get some pictures of the stars. The Milky Way will kind of be up over there, so maybe I can get a little bit of that in the 
in a photo that'd be sick uh maybe not i don't know we'll try it and uh then we'll do the sunrise so we'll see you then so here's a couple images i took at sunset and my goal with these photos was to get this rain cloud which was a bit off to the left of sort of the lake but i wanted to get the rain cloud with the rain and the lake in the same image so this first picture is just one single image and then this next image is a panorama of three images blended together in light or in photoshop what's going on it is early morning here at alstrom point sun's rising over there some really nice lighting uh my spot i was the other day was up there and i just walked down the hill to get this little bush for some foreground got a pretty cool image with that and yeah we're just uh waking up with the sun and gonna just hang out for a little bit and enjoy the sunrise here um until we're off to our next place all right so these images here are not only some of my favorites from the trip but some of my favorites i've ever taken this first one, I focus stack, taking three images, one up close, one of the mid-ground, one of the sort of the mountain and the sky in the background, focused on each, and blended them. And I really like the, I mean, the sky, the colors are amazing, the mid-ground's really stunning. Um, but I like how I have that foreground element with the bush and the sort of yellowish oranges in the bush actually really matches the sky nicely. And then here's this next image, which I really like too a ton. I like how I have that rock as the bit of foreground element. I also focus stacked these images too. And as you can see in the settings here, my um, aperture is at f18. And that's because the bigger number or the more closed your aperture is, the better of a sun star you'll get. So if I was to shoot this at say like the last image f10, I wouldn't have gotten those sharp bright rays as nicely. Um, and you can even shoot, you know, F22 or so uh, and get really sharp sun stars. You do have to keep in mind, though, that'll darken your image. You may need a longer uh, shutter speed or a higher ISO if you're going to do that. Um, but I was really happy with the sun star in this, the colors in the sky, the foreground. Um, and these are some of my favorite images I got on the trip, as I had said. All right, YouTube. Thank you guys for watching this week's video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, got something out of it. If you do have any questions about me, my photography, or this location, uh, just leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you. I don't know if I got necessarily everything you may want or need to know in the video. You know, I tried my best, but just let me know down below and we'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, we do have a crazy slot canyon or a couple crazy slot canyon videos coming in the next couple weeks, so stay tuned.